Only pussy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have this cat. <laughs> Thank you all right. See, her name is Sasha. If you know me, you know Sasha. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Sasha! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This cat is my life. I love this cat. Yeah, anyway. Sure. Uh, you know, Syrians, they don't... They're not that fond of cats, actually. They're not that interested in cats. Not as here, like in Turkey. They... You don't find them in like indoors or outdoors that much. We actually practice aiming on them. <laughs> Stones, not anything else. But yeah. Uh, but recently that changed because there was this new thing about like a bobcat. Anybody heard about that? A bobcat? Yeah. So this cat, the uh, this sweet so soldier, the Turkish soldier, he just saved that cat and he brought it back to Turkey, and like. It got like 8,000 applications to like adopt it or something. And then it's now actually in Shishani. You can go see it. People are taking selfies with it. So yeah, uh, now you can see the change in like how Syrians react to a cat. Because if you go to the borders, you will hear them meowing. <laughs> didn't prepare that much because uh, it's not that I don't care about you guys or don't want to you. It's just that I had to watch the Game of Thrones. Yeah. 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 It's, it's just that I need to understand the memes. Uh, I also had to, weirdly, I had to understand business meetings because we were in a meeting and this, uh, this manager, he's just like, we're all employees and like, he's saying, how do we increase sales? And this guy was like, we just go wildlings on them. And <laughs> everyone was like, like, and the gentleman was like, right, all dismissed. And then we get out, and I'm like, okay, we'll go wildlings. And then my phone rings, and I'm just like, hello, and hi, yeah. I want to ask you something. You know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Actually, some one thing that happened, winter has come. And it actually happened in Turkey. <laughs> but yeah, it actually happened in Game of Thrones also, and that was so sad. But that's not actually the weirdest thing we have. Uh, one patient, she came all the way from USA, she wanted to extract some ass from her fat, uh, fat from her ass. Well, she had a big ass, sorry. Anyway, she, we extracted some fat from her ass to Injected in her lips. Yeah, uh, it, it, to make it bigger, you know. So her husband comes to me and I'm in the, uh, like she's in the operation and he's like asking me, uh, how do I guarantee that this fat is hers? Uh, <laughs> Why do you ask? And I was like, I'm used to kissing my wife's ass. It's just, I'm not used to kissing somebody else's ass. <laughs> Yeah, but that's not the weirdest thing. Ha one thing happened, I, this patient, he came out of the hair transplant, the red dot thing, he came out of the operation, and he asked me, uh, Dr. Baha, uh, when, when can, I'm a doctor. I am a doctor. I tell them that. Uh, when can I swim after the operation? And I'm like, 30 days after the operation. And he's like, are you sure, doctor? I'm like, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, okay, and then he goes, 20 days after the operation, he calls me, and he's like, Dr. Baha, I really need to swim. And I'm like, why do you really need to swim? And he's like, I'm really filthy. And I'm, am I missing something? So I just put, the, I put my hand on the microphone, and I look at my Iraqi friend, and I'm just like, um, is, is the patient is Iraqi. And I'm like, is swimming mean something else in Iraqi? And he's like, yeah, I'm taking a shower. <laughs> Please go swim. <laughs> Thank you guys, you were amazing. Thank you. <laughs>